Hi beauties. So today's video is of course another project pan. You guys have been loving project pans on my channel and y'all know this is hashtag let's save 10k. So I'm really feeling the project pan right now because it is allowing me to have a relationship with my makeup. Y'all know that's one of my like models here in terms of project pan and I know some people use it look I know that I like makeup I'm still going to shop for makeup but I'm in that stage where I want to save money and I think the logical thing to do in terms of saving money is to get to know what you really use and then just don't purchase because it's pretty just because the packaging in today's video i have a new project pan i know i have one going on it's about to end and i'm about to start another one which is going to be a collab with one of the really good i feel like project panners here on youtube so in today's video we are going to do one month one palette and we are also going to do pan that palette. I'm really excited about this because I am sticking my ambitions out there and I feel like you know sometimes you need to have a challenge especially especially when it comes to your makeup because otherwise if your collection is rather large you'll tend to go through the same things. So I have learned something significantly in my shop my stash kind of like my everyday makeup drawer for the month i've been doing those for the last two to three months i'll link it over here so you guys can check it out but i've learned a lot because i have been decluttering from that drawer because if i'm not picking it up if i have it mentally in my mind to use it and i don't use it for a month that's a to me that's a pretty good that's a pretty good barometer now i'm trying to condense down really and i am I have so many ideas in my head you guys but this is kind of like I want to condense it down to the point where I have a capsule makeup stash makeup by Tiffany D she has a huge following I think she's almost at a million subscribers and I really love because she has been doing crazy insane declutters and I've been doing some decluttering I've been selling some items on Poshmark I don't know if you know that I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in some pre-loved and some of the items are even brand new if you're interested in that and getting it at a big huge discount at least I think 50% link it down below but let's get into this pen that's palette I know I'm rambling so I'm going to put timestamps in this video but I just wanted to put it out there that I am getting to know what items that I am loving. So I actually have two pen that palettes. Okay, I am and I'm giving myself a year. So by the end of 2018, I want this done with. And I know I'm starting this like towards the fall, but I think 18 months is a pretty much a pretty good amount of time. The first one, it's like I love this palette and I think that's one of the motivators in project panning you want to get something that you love this is the NYX this is the NYX highlight and contour palette I love this palette NYX did an amazing job and the reason why I want to pan this is because and I'm going to of course leave pictures in progress so you'll see this I think I want to do a monthly uh, update I may do this quarterly I'm not sure but I will definitely let you guys know. But maybe I'll put like, um, I'll go on Snapchat or even show it on Twitter or I'll figure it out. And I'll, of course, come back and let you guys know by the end of this video. Just look down in the description box. But this actually has two shimmers. It has a yellow toned type of highlighter which I use these two all the time these shimmers I actually can use and then I use these two I actually use these two at the end for bronzer and these two in the middle for contour just because to me they're more on the grayer side um, I love the fact that they have a dark and a light shade so I feel like that this is going to meet a lot of people's needs but I really love this palette so I actually want to pan this contour and highlight pal palette y'all know that bronzers and powders are the things that go quickly so I think that I can really really do this so I wanted to definitely put this in a bronzer contour and I want to pan these highlights. I just basically want to pan this whole 
product and this whole thing. And my goal is to pan each and every pan in this palette. I think that that's a great goal, but this is a great, I think this is a great palette in general. I actually have it on my face today in terms of the bronzer and sometimes I contour with it. The next palette that I want to pan all of, hopefully all of the, um, I want to pan actually everything except the gray and the black. I think I can pan the gray and the black and use it as eyeliner. Uh, let's say, let's be ambitious. I know black is a hard item to pan, but if I do enough smoky eyes, 18 months, let's see where it takes us. So I want to say I want to pan all of these shades and my Lorac Pro. I think this is one of the oldest palettes. This is one of the oldest palettes I have. This one is probably like two and a half, three years old, I would think. And I just, I really like it. I have some dents in here, like gold has a dent in it. And I've been seeing a lot, this is my strategy. I've been seeing a lot of project panners when they pan products, they say Too Faced is the most difficult palette to pan if you're gonna do a pan that palette. And I think Lorac and Anastasia are the easiest. And I think in Urban Decay is in between just because the wells are slender. Let me know what your thoughts are. What are the easiest for you guys that are OGs? What are the easiest formulas to pan? That's a really good question, huh? Yeah. So let me know down in the comments if you guys can help me out because I do have quite a few brands and I do want to pan more of my palettes and my shadows. So my goal is to pan this whole entire thing by the end of 2018 and to just put a mix in to that because I love those two, but I'm actually going through my products. I'm going through my palettes to see if I want to declutter. I've decluttered Two palettes based upon me not really liking the formulation you'll probably see that in the next makeup drawer type of video that I do but this is the Anastasia Tamana dress your face palette I really love this palette and I've used it before and I came up with a look with it but I like that it's it's gonna go into fall it does have a black my goal in here is just to use this in in conjunction with the Lorac Pro the entire month. And so this is going to give me some variation. This has some great transition shades. So I'm thinking that in the Lorac Pro, I'm probably going to end up panning taupe, like mauve, these type of shades, uh, gold, light bronze. I can already see big dents in those. Champagne, I can see a little dent. I don't know if you can see that. But because it has a lot of transition shades, I'm probably going to be able to pan this, uh, the transition shades very quickly. And this one, and in this one, I'm using more for the pops of color, but in the month of September and going into October, because I'm thinking one month, one palette, I'm going to do it towards the end of each month for the next month or the first of every month. So this would be pan that palette for towards the end of September going into October. I won't do another one month one palette until um, on, on November. So this is going to be for the end of September just because it's going up like mid-September. I might end up changing my mind. We'll see how it takes it, where it takes us. But I really want to get some use out of my palette. So I really love this palette. It's just because it's not getting used. I think one month, one palette would be a great incentive. And then showing some updates on the Lorac Pro. So that's all I have for you all as of right now. These palettes, I really feel like panning these in 18 months will be super cool. And I'm still going to have some items that I'm going to have in my project pans. This is probably going to be... Um, these are you know, probably not in my project pans. I usually don't have eyeshadows, but because I'm putting this in a separate project pan, I think that I'm going to really be able to get through those. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, loveys.